Hi my loves, welcome back to the channel. It's almost embarrassing to say how long I haven't posted. And every time I come on here, it's like, oh, um, I'm gonna try and be more consistent. But guys, please, please, I'm gonna do it this time. I swear I'm gonna do it this time. But um, yeah, I haven't posted in forever, but I am ready to get back into it. Like the YouTube era, is you know she's returning she's coming back and i've planned you know like to do vlogs again and just vibe with you guys because i've always enjoyed just coming on here and like speaking to you and just you know having a little girly chit chat and it's just so different than other platforms because tiktok i feel like is getting there where it's like longer form content and um you can really like talk to the camera but you know that YouTube has been the OG in this game, you know? So get your tea, get your snacks. I got my tea right here and we're gonna do a little update because I need to update you guys on so much that has happened in my life. So I'm gonna do my makeup and just while I get ready, you know, we can, we can vibe, we can, we can have a little convo. So what have I been up to for so long? I think the last vlog, I think I was still in school. Well, I was still in school when I did my last vlog and now I've graduated, which is super, super exciting because I'm just done with school. I have my second degree right now, which is so exciting, but then reality really, really hit me, guys, because I was still... I don't know. It's not that I wasn't prepared because I just knew that it was... <laughs> gonna come the day that you know i'm not a student anymore and i really have to go like live like an adult life where you have to make choices on you know what am i actually doing like career wise or even like where is the money gonna come from now um now that i'm not getting any student loans anymore so it was a lot to take in i just thought it was important for me to do something that i enjoyed because when I decided to do my master's, it was also because I really enjoy anthropology. Um, but I also thought like, I don't really know what I want to do, so might as well just do another degree. I wasn't really doing it like completely out of, okay, what do I want to do in life, you know? Because even now, I'm just like, okay, don't really see myself like doing a big girl job yet, like a nine to five at the municipality um in like an anthropology position i don't see that for myself yet i don't know so um yeah i was like okay let me just try and do something that i really really enjoy for now because i'm also really tired guys like let's not underestimate how draining and tedious it is to actually do your master's thesis and even my bachelor's thesis like was just a lot to actually do and overcome so i as you know have been sort of like in the social media space for a while like i would say three to four years like professionally now where i actually do collabs with big brands and so so blessed to even like have been able to do that but by the time that i finished my um, masters i already had um my social media business sort of going so then i was like you know what let's just risk it all <laughs> let's just risk it all i'm gonna go for social media full time i remember it so vividly i was scrolling on tiktok scrolling user generated content and they were talking about how um they even like made six figures in the first month and la 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 and i was like mm, this does sound intriguing and then i looked it up and was just i found myself the whole night um just watching videos about ugc on tiktok and once i saw it i was like this is for me i know this is for me and then i think that's the day that i decided you know what I'm gonna go full time for social media. I'm gonna do UGC and do my influencing, uh, like little brand deals on the side. And I'm just gonna go for it, like see like where social media takes me. When you're a student, you can have like these little part-time jobs and whatever, which I always had. Usually um, 
I would do waitressing or some other stuff and then at some point I had um, my brand deals which was like my side hustle next to being a student and I was like okay but I never really got to put my 100% effort and time into this so what would happen if I would do it wait let me explain what UGC is before I actually um, go into it so UGC is user generated content and the way that I like to explain it is that it's influencing without posting on your account and it's basically just you creating content for brands that, that they post on their account. It used to be known as content only or ghost posts, but now it has a whole new feel to it and it's called UGC, where people actually are content creators, but you actually do it for a fee. The whole thing with UGC is that you don't need to have followers and you don't need to have um, like a big platform. The only thing you need to be good at is just really knowing how to sell a product and also just being able to connect to audiences and storytelling, just making bomb as content. And when I tell you I saw this and I was just like, why is this literally calling my name? Because when I did brand partnerships and I would deliver the content, it would be such high quality content, but because influencing revolves around you, like my audience. But then I just saw this whole new world of content creation where your own engagement on your account literally does not matter. So I was like, sign me up. But the thing is like, there's no signing up with UGC. There's literally just what you put in is what you get out. So, um, the way that I started was, well, the way that everyone needs to start is creating a portfolio. Basically, this is where you show brands, um, sort of like a, a website of you saying, this is, these are my skills in content creation. And, um, you know, I could do something similar for you and your brand if you would like. But the thing is, usually UGC creators, when they start off, um, they need to like build their whole portfolio um from new content because you know maybe stuff that you have laying at home you go and do like a little ad for it not with you and the brand actually partnering but you just being excited about something and then being able to make content for that and then add it to your portfolio but because i already did influencing before it was so much easier because i had so many examples of content that i could put in my portfolio but tell me why the first two to three months I did no pitching because that's what you're supposed to do be like hey um, This is my portfolio. Um, I can make content for you blah blah. Uh, I didn't do that a lot I think I said like three pitches and then um, I was literally busy with Rearranging and just updating my portfolio trying to make it perfect for two months this is it guys so the start of 2022 is when i was like adulting is right here like right around the corner and you need to start making some income babes because i don't know at some point i was like okay no more funny business like now you need to start that's when i actually started rolling and let me tell you like a really really honest testimony when i tell you my god is real I am not kidding. My resolution was to have a financial breakthrough in 2023. And for some reason, I was just like, this UGC thing, like it keeps pulling in my heart. And I just really think that it's for me, you know? And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pray for it. And I just prayed and prayed and prayed. And slowly and slowly, I started to see like more confirmations. Um, God really telling me like, this is, for you only if you put in the work babe like you know i saw this interview once like the way that god works is you can pray for the bus you need to pray for the bus but when the bus comes you still need to run for the bus to make the bus so that's like a little analogy to say that you can pray all you want for things but you still have your own will and your own agency so god will put situations and opportunities in your life but it's really up to you um you know to do something with it so it just kept pulling in my heart that this was an opportunity that god was really placing in my life where he was saying you know this is what you've been asking for but it's gonna be hard work but if you really do it like it's gonna gonna see what it can do in your life 
the new year started and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm already getting like deals and I've been doing little videos. I'll actually link them right here so you can see. It was like a skincare one and then there was one with hair and protein shakes. And I was like, yes, I'm actually doing it. Like I'm getting little, little um, amounts in. They were through an agency um, and these were like 100 euros here and there. Within UGC, it usually just means creating content for brands, right? But then I also sort of saw it as an opportunity to um, pitch to people that I could also do social media managing, you know, like posting the content, blah, blah, blah. And then by the 7th of the month in January, I got a confirmation that a client that I had worked for uh, with my influencing and I think like some content only that was like back in the day, uh, which I was already doing UGC for, um, they had lost their social media manager. But then I saw that opportunity and I was like, let's go. Let me ask them if I could be their social media manager. And then I pitched it to them. And then by the seventh, they were like, okay, we'll do it for you. And that's when I had my first big UGC client for like a monthly basis. And with UGC, you call this monthly retainers. And this is the best way to um, actually go full time with this. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have my first UGC client. That's like a big one. We got to keep this going. So I started with that client and then I had my little UGC deals going as well. I'm not even doing my makeup while I'm talking to you. Um, <laughs> I'm just so excited to tell you. But um and then after, I think by the 15th, mind you, this is not even like a week, I guess like a week after, suddenly one of my, like my best friend, Elisa, she sent me like this um, job position for a con that a thrift store in Amsterdam was looking for a content creator. And I had already seen this girl on TikTok doing the videos. So I emailed her, I was like, hey, I'm a content creator, here's my portfolio. She was like, oh, uh, we're not looking for anyone anymore, like somebody already has a position. But I do have, I manage like different thrift stores and there's one that might be looking for one. So just let me keep you in the loop. So I was like, okay, might not get like an email back probably, but let's just see. And then by the 15th, they had sent me a um, email. It was like, hey, we're looking for a content creator. And I told them that you would be a great fit. Are you still open to doing this? And I was like, mm, let me see what they're about. And then they were like, yeah, we want you to do three videos a day, one video a day. Hold on. That means that this is another big retainer client. And then boom, that was already like fixed within like two days. They were, they just like confirmed everything and I could start like the week after. What? What? So by the 15th of January, when I had prayed for this, and really set in my mind, I'm gonna do this and have a financial breakthrough. I did that like the end of the year, 2022. And by the 15th of January, 2023, I can't even talk guys, but listen, my plan for you and I, me and you, was that I was gonna film the journey to going full time with UGC. And I was like, okay, in January, I'm going to start. And I was, every time I was like putting it off, putting it off. But in my mind, I was like, this is going to be such a like nice thing to film because it's probably going to take like a while. And then I can show my, you know, journey and how everything's going. But within two weeks, I already had the financial means to go full time with this. So this whole journey to full time was already done. <laughs> so I was like... Oh my god, this is not even real. I am so, so blessed because now I just get to do what I love to do. I get to manage social media um, accounts. So that's what I'm doing for both of those. And for one of them, I manage and then I also create the content. Um, and then I do the other UGC stuff um, on the side. And then I just started my own TikTok and that's going really well. Give me a follow. I would love that. <laughs> All the glory goes to God in this situation because who would have thought that I could make cute little videos and that would be the way that I could pay my bills in this economy. So yeah, that's my little story time. So I am a full-time content creator per, um, and that's why I also want to start like my YouTube like era back up again because I could just show everything. I could even take you with me to work, like what it looks like doing like videos for them. Uh, it's really fun. They have like a lot of vintage stuff. 
I guess like with YouTube, I just want to take it to the next level where, you know, I update you guys. The makeup is almost done, but this is such a, such a subtle, everyday, no makeup makeup. Let's see if the lips will make the difference. Oh. So well, yeah guys, that's the story of what I'm actually doing right now. And I thought it would be fun to do a little try on haul. And then I'll show you guys what I got from Naked. So keep watching for that and then we'll talk in a bit. Okay. I'm doing a little light coat today. Okay. What is she giving? I think I like it. It's giving really subtle, yeah, okay. Okay, so now that the makeup's done, let's put on some outfits and do this little try on haul together. So this is the first item that I got from Naked. It's like a long sleeve ribbed top. And I don't know why, but this is giving me Skims dupe. I just love how it's like cropped and then the sleeves actually go all the way. And yeah, I just love the way it looks and this is perfect for like jeans or cargo pants or just like some, I guess, mom fit, big baggy jeans. I think it should be spring, like next week, but it's still really chilly out. So this is perfect because you still get the like crop look, but then this will keep you warm. So the next item that I love so much. So let me try it on for you guys. What do you think? I love it. And this again, like the sleeves are pretty big and you can just button it down. I just love how the whole pants are almost covered with this. So yeah. So the last item that I want to show you guys, which is my favorite from the whole order, and you guys need to see this TikTok that I made, I'm gonna put it up here, is this knitted dress. It just looks like it will fit like a glove because it's just so stretchy. Um, so we're gonna try this on. I already tried it on, but you need to see for yourself how good this looks. Okay, okay, don't play with her. Okay. Isn't this like the... I love it and then I usually wear this with these boots because it's the same cream as in this and I don't know I'm just feeling the whole like maxi dress and boots combo so let's try this on and then I'll show you the full look and I would wear this to like an elegant event or even like a dinner date night this would look so cute and come on you can't play with how body hugging this is so these are the items that I got from Naked and you guys have a special code with my name Alicia and with that you can go on the Naked site and get everything off for 30% and even sale items. So, so yeah, all you need to do is create a new account on Naked. You can use my code Alicia and that will give you 30% off of everything and even sale. So if you guys want to use it, it's only valid up until tomorrow. So if you see this video and you want to get one of these items even or anything else off the Naked site, go to their website right now and use my code. I had such a fun time catching up with you and just doing like this little try on haul again. Right. So if you guys have new recommendations for stores that you want me to cover or just, you know, stuff that you want me to talk about, leave some questions down below. Be sure to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you next time. Oh my gosh, I haven't said that in so long. Stay tuned for my next video and I'll see you guys next time.